When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Three. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy at the Aftermath, man. We out here at the gym, tired. But we're gonna do some jump training today. So I'm gonna give you four exercises I do to increase my vertical jump. I haven't been doing them in a while, I will say. My main focus has been a little bit of uh, more so heavy lifting, but this can actually transfer into heavy lifting uh, and I feel like I, should, I really need to get back into it. But for jump training, here are the four best exercises, from my, my opinion. Let's get it. So when it comes to jump training, my biggest tip for jump training is unilateral movements. So our first exercise is gonna be Single leg step ups, well you, know, you can only step up with single legs, so we're going to do step ups, dumbbells, boom, you can alternate from right here and have a little bit more, put a little bit more effort into it, right, a little bit more, um, make, it, make it a little harder on yourself, a little more, more of a challenge, put it up here, dumbbells, boom, boom, right, so we'll do that for about five sets, uh, we'll go six reps each leg, so 12 reps all together. I gotta, my, I gotta take a shit. It's not a good leg day today. It's gonna be a tutorial video, a tip video. So the reason why unilateral strength is key is because when it comes to being more athletic, increasing your performance, balance is key. And training everything in symphony, in harmony, right, is, is, your, is your main goal. Now, if you train everything all together, you really don't have any say so or feel as to what what's wrong what imbalances you have and you know it, let's say i do a squat right as i go down i i'm feeling myself mentally my body is moving as one and i really don't see much you know much strength errors between my left and my right side but breaking it down into something like this is what's going to help you um, determine what are those imbalance issues. So, once again, unilateral movements. And the majority of everything we're doing today is going to be unilateral movements. So when you do it, make sure you brace your, brace your abs. Load, load on this glute. Load on the glute of whatever foot's up and then explode up. Boom. One. Boom. Two. All right, so next movement, it's a body movement. This is an advanced movement. But from the floor, you start on your knees. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before. Bring those hips in, right? So you're loading, boom, right here, coming up, boom. And then you want to do jump up in the air. Explosive. Uh. So next up we got hang cleans. Now the reason why I say hang cleans is because a lot of times with power cleans, you're starting from the ground and you're never that low, right? So I like to think of, all right, what are the positions I'm in when it comes to jumping? All right, when I jump, this is probably as low as I get. 
right? Power cleans, you start down here, right? So with hand cleans, you're starting from like that loaded position of where you would jump and then you're exploding from there. So that's why I feel like hand cleans are the best, um, one of the best exercises for getting your vertical jump up. So what I'll do is around five sets of five, all right? So I'll go through the movement for you guys and then you can try it out yourself. Coming down from the knees, boom. And think about this, you wanna keep the bar close to you. So boom, and then up. So for the cleans, it does not hit the waist. It hits around that mid thigh to get up. I'm so hungry. And lastly, we got push press. Now you can call it jerk, whatever. In football, we call it the push press. So that's what I'm sticking with. So anyways, start with the push press. You have the bar loaded right in front of you, just like this. And each step, you're gonna do a step. So boom, press. One, two, three, four, five, and you're exploding 10 times, right? So alternating feet, boom, right, left, right, left. Kind of put you in a bit of a staggered position because sometimes when you jump, right, and you have to uh, unload that, that energy up, you're not in, you're not, your feet aren't always aligned, right? So with that being said, we worked on the hang clean from right here to right here. Now we're working on from here to here. So you start hand clean movement right here. Push press up here, right? So we're just gonna press that movement up. So to, once again, push press. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six. Just like that. Whew! I feel so uncomfortable today. Maybe it's because it's still no caffeine week. All right, man, that is the end of today. I know a lot of you were probably wondering, Teron, why not squats? Well, I don't feel like squats are that necessary to increase your vertical. It's good to be strong in squats, yes, with lateral, unilateral movements. You can strengthen a lot, a lot that transfers into the vertical jump with what I just showed you today. So it's just all about explosive power. A lot of the heaviest, I mean, the highest jumpers don't even have huge squats, you know what I'm saying? Everything is, oh shit, I just need my tongue. Everything is fast movement, explosive power, and that's what should be your main focus when it comes to these movements, all right? It's not trying to squat the heaviest, yes. Um, you know, squatting the heaviest, deadlifting the heaviest, whatever, stuff like that can help. But at the end of the day, if you don't train like you're supposed to, to somebody who has done that, I, what I've told you, right? Uh, the movements that I've told you, and somebody who just squats, you're gonna be, you're gonna have more of a benefit from what I just showed you than just squatting. So that being said, it's all about power, all about speed, movement. Get moving out there, man. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. All right, awesome. And once again, don't forget to check out the Super X5 headphones, man, from Creative Labs. Affordable, great headphones that are, that, that, that fit towards your ears. Like I said, they take a graph of your ears, your head, and it fits the music to your sound, right? Straight for you. Uh, customiz customized for your likings. Anyways, link will be in the description. Uh, use code AFTERMATH for 10% off. And we're out, man. Appreciate you guys. Much love. I gotta go take a shit. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.